that the rift occurred. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I really feel uh, bad about it. But you know what? It was hard and difficult to get back, even if I wanted to. Situations changed. This year, however, it seemed that Uri's friendship with Michael could have been rekindled. The pair still shared a mutual friend, British bodyguard Matt Fiddes, seen here with Michael. Just a few weeks ago, he asked about me. He asked Matt, hey, how's Uri? Give Uri my love. I miss him. He, Matt told me every time Michael would come to England, he would ask for me. So I knew that that, the powerful connection that was always there, the love, the respect, the mutual chemistry was there, intact. Michael had announced a comeback, a series of 50 London concerts. These will be my final show performances in London. But just weeks after that press conference, Uri was in his car with his wife Hannah when he received a phone call saying Michael was in a coma. From the I remember driving down the driveway and I could hear the phones ringing and my mobile phone was ringing. And I picked up the phone, and it was CNN, some anchor uh, person, and they said to me, can you confirm the rumors that Michael is dead? And I thought it was a hoax. I, my mind, my living mind would not accept that. And I, shut, uh, and I shut the phone down, because it was a hoax. It was not real. The King of Pop was dead. Good evening. We have breaking news for you tonight. The singer Michael Jackson is reported to have died from a heart attack. News reports talked of an addiction to prescription drugs. Okay, okay. For Uri, the reports were no surprise. For years, he kept private what he'd witnessed. Thank you, Michael. I love it. Thank you. I've never, ever seen him take anything. I've never, never seen that. But I've seen the author aftermath. And the aftermath sometimes was devastating. I couldn't wake Michael up one day. I, I grabbed his body and I, I kind of tried to wake him up. I was really concerned. Um, I, I said, Michael, what, what have you done? What have you taken? Michael, open your eyes. Are you okay? There were moments where Matt, Fides, and I um, were shouted back when we, we tried to forcefully explain him that, you know, he can't go on with this. And, and it was said, don't tell me. Don't, this is my private life. Stop. Stop there. On another occasion, Uri confronted Michael as he lay motionless in bed. And, you know, I shouted, I really shouted, M Michael, Michael, stop it. Michael, you will die. You're killing yourself. Look at you. The world needs you. Nobody wants to lose you. And he was there in, in, in bed, and he just stared at me. And, and you know, I, 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 I'm sure he, he knew, of course... I'm sure he knew, but only God knows now why, why he did this. Whatever the cause of Michael's death, for Uri and millions of fans, his legacy will be his music. Michael Jackson was a sensitive, intuitive, gentle person, loving individual, and he gave so much 
to the world. He knew how to drink in and absorb the love that was emitted to him from his millions of fans around the world. He was a master in taking that power of love, that energy, and turn it into music. He was amazing. And I will always remember Michael as an icon, as an idol, as a phenomenon. And, and most of all, as the biggest pop star the universe will ever have. <laughs> 